This is a good one. My time is done. I want to see your body moving. Tomorrow is a new beginning. Let's see the one that you caught earlier. Yeah. 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 Happy Canada Day, One Niners. We are on our way to Grace Field right now. We're gonna be uh, reviewing a cottage with R&B Retreats uh, in Grace Field, and we're also going to be fishing on a lake, uh, reviewing that lake and, and, and seeing how the fishing is around there. Probably gonna be uh, targeting some lake trout, some monster lake trout, and uh, hopefully some monster pike. So stay tuned, should be a good time. All right, so in order to uh, for your boat to be uh, okay to go on rivers here in Gracefield, uh, you do have to do a boat wash. Uh, so that means you're gonna have to wash the hull of your boat and your trailer before you put in any waterways. It's twenty-five dollars, but I already knew that was gonna happen. They use hot water. Uh, to make sure that it's done properly, but uh, but in order to be able to bring a boat anywhere, you have to do that. So make sure you do that, because otherwise you're going to get a huge ticket. But yeah, this is the boat watch station. It's here in Gracefield behind the library. All right, the boat wash is done. Now we are headed to the cottage. See you guys shortly. All right, Luna, we made it. All right, we just got here. Kids are already here with the wife because I had to turn back around, but let's see what the first impressions look like. It's a nice, uh, it's like a nice area. Luna, come. So this is the cottage that we will be staying at right here. Come. Right, first walk through. For the barbecue, that's nice. Fan. All right, so we're looking at the shower right now, and it looks like it's been newly renovated. That's a huge, just a huge shower, uh, shower head, as you call it. It looks pretty nice in here. Not too bad. So uh, you gotta be careful swallowing this water though. It is uh, recommended that you bring your own water because this is well water, I think, right? Yeah, I think it's well water. It's well water, but anyways, it's not good to drink. Hi, Ellie. Hi. <laughs> That's Elodie. Uh, so yeah, so these are the rooms. This is where the wife and I are gonna be sleeping, I think. Um, two beds there. Uh, two doubles in here. This is where the girls are going to be sleeping. And the uh, dog's going to be sleeping right there. And then we got a third room with two other beds right here. It does smell like cologne in here. Holy. And we got a full dresser in here too. So if you're here for a while, you can. Uh, if you're here for a while, you got a full dresser. Small, it's cozy. It's uh, this is the kitchen. It's got a big, big mirror here, and uh, there's an AC unit, which I found pretty interesting because the ad the ad says there's no AC, but that's kind of nice. That must be new. It must be new. Um, one the one thing that I noticed, you got a kettle, which is great. You got a coffee maker, which is great, but there is no toaster. There's no toaster I think but there's a microwave. there is a microwave there for sure. 
I don't. It doesn't look like it's on. Oh yeah, yeah it's, on. it's on. So there's a microwave, but yeah, no toaster. So I guess if we're want to do bagels or something, we're gonna have to do it either on the barbecue Actually, or maybe even check. toast them on here. You didn't check where. I didn't check that, that one to the right. To the right. Why would that have a toaster in it? Oh, there is a toaster. There is a toaster. All right, we have a toaster. I will take back that comment. There's a toaster here. We just got to take it out of the cupboard. All right, Roland, sorry about that. But yeah, you have a toaster. Awesome. Okay, so all anemones are good. AC, uh, kettle, uh, coffee maker, toaster, microwave, fridge. Uh, and uh, did I say barbecue? I did say barbecue, yeah, right? It's a really cute place. Yeah, it's a nice place. I really like it. Uh, the bolt launch definitely needs some work, but I don't think that's Roland's thing. I think that's just a community that needs to work on that. And there's also a fire pit out there. Which we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and fire that later. Maybe I'll get you to go get some uh, marshmallows later, okay? But anyway, we're gonna go out for a fish tune. I'm gonna inflate the uh, the inflatable and uh, maybe bring the girls tubing. Hi, my name is Ava. All right, so this is a boat launch here. I'm gonna look to you. Little cabin here. Uh, we're gonna go explore the lake, and then after we're going to tubing, we're at a cottage right now, checking everything. Hi, that's my mom. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Woo! This is what I live for. I present to you, Lakini, where the water is crystal, crystal clear. Enjoy the view. You want to hold this one? Oh my god, his little buddy friend is coming to help him. Look at him, look, no, look he's right there.
All right, so we found this little beach, uh, not even five minute boat ride uh, from the, uh, from the, what am I trying to say? From the cottage. Jeez, I can't talk. But uh, girls are having fun. Dog's having fun. Wife's having fun looking at the dog having fun. <laughs> and one huge selling point, uh, I'd say, because how many times have we gone fishing and we ran out of juice? They have extension cables here, right at the docks. So I can literally charge my battery from my boat right here. So my batteries are charging. Look at that. That's awesome. So I go out fishing, go out fishing all day. And then, uh, and then I come back and then I got battery juice. Uh, Oh no, that's a pike. <laughs> so, this is our first morning here. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi everyone! We just met uh, Daddy at the dock. He went for a super early morning fish. And now we're just going back to the cottage home and about to make breakfast. Make some eggs and sausages and probably some croissants too. Yeah, babe, what's up? Luna did pee pee. She did pee pee? Yeah. yeah, she's running wild here. She is having the best time Luna. ever. See you guys later. Don't record me. I'm Speak. Naked. You're really not. All right, so this is R&B, uh, R&B's dock. I'm gonna show you, this is my boat. I'm gonna show you how far it is to get uh, to get back to uh, so that's one of the properties right there which is kind of close and nice but I'm at the I'm at the little little anglers Luna you trying to swim what you doing you okay girls let's go let's move it all right so this is this is what the walk looks like it's a little strange because you actually have to walk through this cottage to get to it but I mean I guess if you're staying here you're probably warmed about it but uh, yeah, I really like that there's power over there. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Like, it's not a bad, a bad path. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy to get by. I think they're doing renovations here or something. They got some stuff going on here. But uh, there's our cottage. So it's really not that bad. It takes uh, maybe a full, uh, I don't know, say two minutes to get down there, not even a minute and 30 second walk, which is not bad at all. Yeah, I'm winded just because uh, being a fisherman, you don't really get much exercise when you're fishing all the time. <laughs> well, that's just an excuse. I've just been unhealthy lately, but uh, it's time to make some burgers. Speaking of being unhealthy, and stay tuned for more fishing. All right, so all in all, I had a great stay at R&B retreats. The family had a great time. I would definitely say this is definitely more of a fisherman's getaway, uh, but I mean, it's great for family. It's pet friendly too. Uh, there's power at the docks, which is great. The docking is awesome. It's not far from the cottage. Uh, the boat launch needs a little bit of work, but I mean, not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's, it's very usable. Water's crystal clear if you want to go for a swim. Uh, fish are healthy. We got pike, we got bass, we got perch, we got lakers. I caught a bunch of those except for lakers. The lakers are ginormous here. Uh, all in all, uh, all the anemones. Uh, there's four cottages with R&B retreats, so you have different options, different pricing. Um, and yeah, so I got to give it a five-star rating because I had such a great time. I will definitely be back to smash some lakers here. Welcome to R&B retreats. I hope you enjoy your stay.